Do you think it's a coin or not? Uh, I'm not sure. I see yes. a button. What do you reckon? Yeah, it's a button. That's a washer. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think? Coin or button? Um, coin. I'll say button because it looks like it's got a bit of goldy Again. stuff on it. Coin. Got to be. Be a gold one if it is. No, it's a button. No. <laughs> It's a shame. Has it got anything on us? Nah, it's blank, isn't it? Yeah. That was just right on the top, was it? Yeah, it was just like that, and then I could just. So it was just there, and what did you do? Oh, yeah, well, that's a good signal. It's, I thought the machine sounded quite happy. Let's have a look. Let's see what it is. It's a big lad. Looks like a Georgian one. Looks like a Georgian penny. Let's have a look. Sometimes you don't get much detail on them. I'll just give it a light rub on these dirty pants. Just shows, doesn't it? Every time it gets ploughed, there's more stuff comes to the top. Yeah, it's a Georgian one. His head's there, facing that way, facing towards you. It's a Georgian penny, so that'll be from the mid to late 1800s. No, sorry, late to eight. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be from the mid to late 1700s, and possibly the early 1800s. It's a George III penny. It's a tiny little button. Oh. Ah. Very thin button. Just see the little raised bit of metal on the back there? That's where it would have had the, the loop. Got excited there because it looked like a huge hammered coin, but <laughs> it's obviously not. That looks a bit better, looks more like a coin. <clears throat> Can't see much on it, but I'll, I'll give it a bit of a clean up and see if I can get a date off it. Probably about seven inches down or so. Looks like a half penny of some sort. Very gnarly. Oh, hello there. Yeah. Oh, I thought that was a coin. Looks like a very shiny button. At least I think it's a button. Right, and what does that say? God knows, I'm going to have to clean that one up. Definitely a button though. Well, I was kind of hoping that was a coin ball, but it wasn't. It looks just like a a big square lump of copper. Ah, now was that a four? I thought that was four little dots on it there. I thought it could have been an old dice. It's not really square enough to be a dice. Although there's dots on there, there's two on there. There's possibly dots on that side as well. Yeah, not so sure about that. Maybe five. I don't know, but that may be a dice. 
or a die to be more specific. And if there's a, one of those lying around, there may have been gambling going on here, so there may be some better finds. Mm, possibly another button. Yeah, it's another button. <laughs> For about one millisecond I was very excited there when I saw that golden glint. But um, it's definitely got some sort of fastening on the back there. And there's a pattern on the front. I don't know whether you can make it out, it's like a, just like a, squares made up of crossing lines there. Looks like it's been gilded with, well, gold plated at some point, but it's pretty well worn off. It looks like a coin ball, but break it open James, let's have a look. It's reading 1239. That's it Freya, have a look. I think you've just switched it off. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Something in there. I'm seeing lead. Oh. Oh, it's just muck. Buckle. It is, it's a mangled up buckle <laughs> or something. <laughs> or even the rim round an old battery or something. That really it's sucks. It's a bracelet. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm back in the house now. I've cleaned up that button and it appears to have two knight's arms holding a heart. And from left to right it says ace and I can't read the rest, maybe Queen something or other. Don't recognise that, but um, that's quite unusual. And the thing on the left is definitely a dice or die. I'm not quite sure what to call it, maybe it's call it a gaming piece. It's nothing like a cube. So the chances are it's either going to land on six or four. So I can imagine that starting quite a few fights if anybody was using that for gambling. This was a great signal, uh, James got it on the Vista Gold and he's already had a coin, the only person to find a coin so far <laughs> he found a five pence and this one looks like it possibly could be another coin so if you'll extract that we'll be able to find out what it is James, let's have a look it's a very battered coin if it is a coin what's that? <laughs> Do you think it's a coin or not? I think it's half of one. It's a quarter of a... It's half a half, it's a quarter. Oh yeah. <laughs> I doubt very much whether that'll be a hammered coin. Let's have a close look. I think it's just an old penny that's been cut into a quarter, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I've just found what looks like possibly a Georgian half penny. I would imagine it would be pre-Victorian because it's in a hell of a state. Here's another target that James has found with the Vista Gold. It's reading 1225 on the E-Track, which is normally a pretty good sign. What's that? That's yeah, another button, isn't it? Yep. Another button. Buttons are good. Doesn't matter, don't mind finding buttons. It means there's been people here. It was a very small signal. Your detector did well to pick that up. And it was about six inches deep. Let's have a look, see what it is. It's very small. Is it a button? Yep. It's a button, is it? <laughs> that was a good old depth though. And it's another one with the Let's have a look. circle on. Oh yeah, it's still got the little hanger on. Oh look! Look, it's got a crown on it. See? And it, it's got... what's that underneath it? What the heck does that say? I think that says a one underneath the crown. Look, I'll turn it your way. You see it? Yeah. I think it looks like a crown with a one underneath it. Well, that's a good find. Yeah, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> We've just given that a little bit of a polish up, and in the north, south, east, west positions of the button, it's got L, C, V, D. And I've no idea what that means, but I'm sure somebody can tell me. So you've just had a dig there. Yours was a, a button. 
Mine looks like a coin. Or a big button. Big button if it is one. It's a coin. What type of coin? It looks like a half penny. I'll rub it. Go on then, give him a rub. Don't rub the coins! Don't rub the coins! Dun, dun, dun. Let's have a look. Can we see? That's it. It's got a hole in it. See the hole in the top of it? Yep. Someone must have had it as like a pendant. That's a George V half penny. Ah, oh, yours was better. <laughs> <laughs> oh, where's the date? See if we can get a date. What do you think? Who's who's going to be the closest? I'll say, oh, 1924. 1925. Dear me. <laughs> I cannot see that <laughs> that bit's worn off. <laughs> Another coin, looks like a Georgian half penny by the thickness of it. Very, very lacking in detail. Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> so, did you find this one or did I find this one? No, I found yeah, it. Oh, yes, no, just, are you sure? Yes. All right, yeah, that's right. And it looks like a coin. Let's have a look, what is it? Oh, it looks nice and green. It's nice. a half penny of some sort. Can you see who's on it or not? No. Is it just flat again? Let's yeah. have a look. In my world it is. In your world it is, in my world it is. Oh, it's got a date on. Oh, 1861. Just about make out that date. So 1861 must be Queen Victoria. Oh yeah. So that's a good one. Have you got a signal up there? No, it's just a rock. Oh, okay. Here's another coin here. Oh, that's a big lad. That's got to be Georgian. Ooh, that's, huge. that's a big one. That gave a good signal. That was reading 1246 on the E track. I don't understand that. I'm not sure whether that's big enough for a cartwheel penny. Get all the muck off it. I will get all the muck off it. No wonder my trousers don't last five minutes. Turn it. Oh, right, there's Britannia on that side. It's a George the Third coin. Awesome. Oh, that's that's not in bad condition. That one. Look at that. There's the big man himself, Big George. <laughs> <laughs> that's like Dennis's brother when he's older. <laughs> there you go, George the Third penny. That's in pretty good condition. I'm not going to clean it anymore, but you can see that Georgius three. Not bad. That'll be late 1700s, early 1800s. And that gave a cracking signal. Big George. What's a canny depth? That had been eight, nine inches. And out of that, we've got a tiny little buckle. Well, it's not tiny at all. It's quite big. Not surprised that the machine picked that up. Well, that gave a good signal. That was 12.40. Actually, no, tell a lie, it was 1.40. Oh, I think I, I know. <laughs> it's a bit of a, like a pulley wheelers or something, isn't it? I'm not surprised that gave a good signal. 